Um, the National Archives are calling bullshit on Trump's accusing on Trump accusing Obama of mishandling documents. But you know, <clears throat> Obama's Obama's previous um handling of documents was on the up and up, making his situation way different than what Trump did. Now, in the days following the FBI's raid of Trump's Mar-a-Lago um, 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 residence, the former squatter has erupted into a series of misdirections regarding former President Obama and his own handling of documents during his, during his time as presidency. Um, now, on Friday, Trump kept, it, kept at it on his, um, his troop social um, media site, which, it can, like I said before, Trump should not have a site called Truth Social when he doesn't know how to tell the truth. And he basically said that President Barack Hussein Obama kept 33 million pages of documents, much of them classified, which, no, they weren't. How many of them pertain to nuclear, and word is lots. Now, producing no evidence whatsoever of um, Trump's accusations, which Trump's accusations turned out to be false, the U.S. National Archives and Records Administration showed that Obama did no such thing. According to the National Archives, um, after Obama left office, um, they moved proxi- they moved approximately... 30 million pages of unclassified records to an NARA facility in the Chicago area, where they are maintained exclusively by the NARA. They also point out that Obama, same as any other president following correct procedure, has no control over where and how the NARA stores the presidential records of of their administration. Now, in their own investigation of Trump's claims against Obama, the Washington Post doubles down on the National Archives classification, or clarification, saying... As it was reported back in late 2016, the Obama team was transferring the records to Chicago um, through the National Archives, which legally owns the which legally owns the documents once the president leaves office. Now, once the documents ultimately reach a warehouse in Chicago, the Obama the Obama Foundation was then due to pay the National Archives and Record Administration to digitize the documents, the length the, the lengthiness of the of the process itself, and there isn't the faintest hint of legal violations. Now, Dan Pfeiffer. Um, who's a co-host of the po- of the po- of the of a podcast called Save America and former, and he was the former Obama, Obama senior advisor. He chimed in on Trump's skewed chain of events with the humorous timeline on Twitter. Can't wait for the televised Obama and Clinton live reading of the Trump Mar-a-Lago search warrant. Joked another weighing in on the Twitter. Um, yeah. So basically, so what Trump did was different, was illegal, and what Obama did wasn't. Um. So Obama followed this procedure correctly while Trump did not. So Trump is pissed off that Obama basically did everything right while he didn't. Um, so if you like the video, you can get the video, like, and subscribe to my channel, RBW King. You can also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the about section of YouTube. And for just a little as a few bucks a month, your donation can help go a long way. And thanks for listening.